Heyo, and welcome to Ninja Build Reviews, and today we're going to be taking a, an exciting look at, because I've, I've never heard of these before, the Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves Diceling Thumbershod. Thumbershod? Thumbershod? Uh, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right, but there you go. And he, this is everything it pretty much comes with, and we're going to take a look at all this, but first we'll start with that packaging, and this is the packaging. That's shown actual size, see that? Showing actual size, if not actual color. Anyway, shows him in his dragon mode, and it says Thumbershod, Thumbershod, whatever it is. Changes, conversion, blah, blah, blah. Dungeons and Dragons on our Among Thieves. Nice picture going on there. It's a chubby dragon. Uh, it says Dicelings. Of course, it's a Hasbro product. 8 plus. On the reverse side, you have the... It takes 8 steps to go from dice to dragon. And I, I, I've... I've seen images of the others so there you go but yeah no real you know saying of what it is plastic free packaging on that side nothing you know too exciting that's the packaging also comes with uh some instructions as you can see here so but this is a really simple conversion it it, it really is it and the hardest part about it is going from dragon back to the dice mode because everything's got to be situated just right. But, you know, there, there are the instructions. If you'd like to pause and look at them, there they are. So it says Thumbershod, 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 I don't know, Thumbershod, I think it is. Anyway, that's the instructions. We'll get rid of those. And here it is. And I'm going to back up a little bit and then zoom in. And, yeah, that's my glass over there and my scotch. And, you know, and I dig it. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so, here it is. And, yeah, it's got nice numbers. It would have been nice if this gold carried over to all the numbers and the, and the little, you know, imprints going on here. Because it, it it has some nice molded detail. It's just uh, panely and un colored it would have been nice i may add that later on you know once i get to my final destination here i'm temporarily at my brother's and there there's residency laws i was unaware of in the state you got to live so long in the state before you can you know rent somewhere or move, buy somewhere so anyway here here you go this this is it and getting pretty cool you get that nice little focus there you go nice little dragon there breathing fire he ate a spicy tamale so anyway this is it not much to really, really, you know, talk about. It, it, it is a Diceling. However, focus forward comparison. Here he is next to Nemesis. There you go. So, you know. <laughs> Gives you an idea of the scale of the dice here. And you can, you know, roll it around. Doesn't, mine doesn't like to stay tabbed in, though. So, but that's a separate issue. Anyway, moving on. Move that to the side. And... Once I'm going to do the conversion on camera, because it's really simple, you just take this panel, move it out. Same thing on this side, move it out. These will form the wings, so with this joint, there's a joint there and a joint there, you're going to unfold it and fold it out, and that is one wing. Do the same on the other side, fold it out, fold it out. Can be fold this can be folded back a little bit further, but I like to have it that way. And that, that takes care of the wings. And you take the tail on tab it from there there's a tiny little tab right there tiny little tab and a slot right in there that that goes into just take this tail move it out of the way untap it's a soft tab in there you hear that thump there you go move that out of the way and there you go take his head move it up again this is a soft tab you move it up and out and it will lock away. There you go. So finally, what you do, once the wings get out of your way, go ahead and move those feet down. Move those arms up and out of the way. Because what you'll need to do is rotate this. Boom, just like so. Swing those le legs back around. Turn them around. And then you'll have his feet. So you'll go like this. Go like this. Get those situated. This late waist is really loose on mine. And so is this wing. Turn this around. There you go. Get these all situated how you'd like them. 
So boom, there you go. And there is your, oops, flip. One final thing is flip this around like so. And there is Dembershad in his dragon mode. And yeah, he's pretty cool. I dig, I see, I was completely unaware of these. I didn't know they existed. I do now. Uh, so I'll have to, you know, keep my eye out for any more I happen to find. Apparently there's a black version of this. There's some uh, um, other, you know, creatures. So, you know, but he's pretty cool. I dig him. And, and for articulation real quick, his head will move up and down. His whole section, his whole neck will move up and down. It will rotate there. And his head will rotate separately. So, you know, nice bit of articulation going on there. Arms. Not much out at all, tiny little bit, but you know, you get a nice elbow, reverse elbow, mostly for transformation. These claws do rotate. Same thing down here. You got a bend there, bend there, and rotation there. No, 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 you know, uh, real, you know, uh, uh, um, hip, or not hip, but uh, joint, uh, ankle, you know, tilt or anything like that, but you know, you get... Good bit of articulation on the tail. You got a joint there, joint there, joint there, joint there, and a joint there. So, you, you know, you can do that however however you want. The wings themselves are on a joint here. that fold in and out. You can swivel those however you'd like for display. So, that's pretty cool. And, again, this wing is loose, so it doesn't like to stay there. But, for quick comparison, we will bring in Prowl. There he is, next to a deluxe class Prowl. So you can get an idea of his scale. So, yeah. So, pretty cool. Get Prowl out of there. But yeah, so, I, man, I dig this thing. Got, you know, could have more detailed, you know, like maybe panel lining on something. But there's lots of molded detail. I mean, you can see the, you can see the, you know, skin scales going on there. Bright yellow eyes. Pretty cool. I dig it. I dig it, and that's your close-up look. Even the inside of the wings are got some older details, painted blue in there. So, yeah, it, it, it's all good. I dig it. I dig it. So, <laughs> wing joint, though. So, anyway, this has been my look at the um, Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves Thumbershot. It's a Diceling Thumbershot, and it's pretty cool. I may have to look for, for more of these. I dig it. You should dig it, too, if you like dragons. Especially if you like dragons. I like dragons. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Make sure you check out my playlist. Please click the like button. Hit the uh, uh, bell icon to stay up to date. If you have the means to do so. And would like to do so. There is a Patreon link in the description below. Close. To, look. 50. I think 53 more subscribers. I'll hit 500. And move on from there. I hope so. Um, above everything else. Be good to each other.